hear me. <coughs> How's everyone doing today? Welcome. If you don't know how to chat, you go down to two, individual user, and you choose my name, Melissa Armo, and you chat in the box, okay? That's how you do it. And again, if you have any questions as well after today, you can email me here. Give me my email. There you go. Got it? Well, let's get going. It's a busy week. It's a busy day. It's a busy evening. Election is eight days away. One of the biggest earnings weeks is this week and next week to trade. Uh, and also it's the election next week. So it is going to just be a fabulous, fabulous two weeks. Lots of opportunity in stocks and the overall market. And we took advantage of that today. So we're going to talk about earning a living trading and specifically what I do. I train. My name is Melissa Armo. For these, those of you that don't know me, I started trading in 2008. I also appear on TV. I talk about the stock market. I talk about trading. I talk about what I do, which is gaps. Okay. If you would like to email me, you can email me here. You can write this down. And you can call me as well. <clears throat> so you could call me at 929 gap and you can follow me on X, which used to be Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So let's get right into it. I have the stats in here for the trading room. I actually didn't update the last week or so. But my trades that I call in the live room, I run a live room every day where I call the trades. Today we shorted Boeing. It worked. If you decide you want to take my class and learn my method, you can join the room. We're up really nicely for the year. Again, this is only through the 10th. I really have to update this. I'm kind of behind. So we're obviously up more than 700,000 and it's really been a very good year specifically to trade. Yes, the market's been bullish, that's true. But ironically, most of the trades that I do are actually short. So we're gonna talk about that today too. And again, go over here if you have questions, you just type it in the box and I'll see as we go along. I also do options. This is a separate subscription service. This is a separate newsletter. I have to update these stats too. I risk more of my options trades. Why? Because I tend to hold my options longer. That's why. And so I wanna hold options longer, so I'm risking more. You could do day trades, you could do options, you could do my strategy, however it works for you. Again, I have to update these stats, but so far for the year through that date, which was the 10th, up over 3.3 million for the year and the year isn't over and like i said we still have the rest of this week october november 1st is friday then we have all of november and december to trade so even if you decide you want to come and you want to start trading this year you've got plenty of time left to make money you could even turn your year around in two months because it's just such a such a great time to trade with so much opportunity with the election, the Fed meetings, and also earnings season. Uh, I was talking about this, Ray, when I was talking about the stats. My risk in the day trades is around $3,000, some trades around $3,500 per trade, and my risk in options is around eight. Okay? Now, if you can't afford that, you will do what you can afford you can take one contract, okay? You have to go by the size of your account. It's whatever it is. So again, like I was saying, the US election is days away. I can't even believe it. It's crazy. What, where did the whole year go? Like I literally, come Friday, I'm gonna be playing Christmas music as soon as Halloween's over on Thursday. I mean, the year has just flown by. I mean, some of you, actually I recognize in here, I've been talking to you about the class since January, since last holiday. I, I just can't even believe the year's gone almost. And this is how life is. You know, we keep thinking we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we'll eventually get around to it, and then we never do, and then time just keeps going. So if trading is something you wanna do and you really, really wanna do it, don't wait, don't delay. You know, the market isn't waiting for you or anyone, you know? And again, this is a good class. 
And people do the class, actually, the October class I just had, not this past weekend, the weekend before, to get in and start trading now during earnings season. Because there's just so much going on here now running into the election. But really, what I do, and specifically the type of trading I do, is focused on gaps. And if you want to be successful trading, you really have to become an expert. In order to become successful in the market, you have to become a specialist. A specialist is one specific strategy and a strategy that reads institutional money, and that's what I do. Like today, we shorted Boeing, okay? We were ready in puts, and then we did a day trade today in Boeing, and that's getting sold off. So I focus on institutional money and what I call power money in the market, okay? This brings momentum and opportunity, and every trader on every level must learn this skill set. It can be acquired through education, and that's really... Again, such an important piece of this, because if you don't understand what to do, you're not going to make money. I mean, you're not going to make any money, let alone earn a living. So there's three steps. This is how I look at it. Number one, you need a winning strategy. You got to learn how to do it first. And that's not pressing the button. That's learning what stock to trade and how to determine the direction. Okay. Number two, you need a supportive mentor. Do and follow. And again, I run a live room. I have a newsletter. I'm making the picks for people. And people can follow me. Number three, become an expert in one thing, one strategy, one system. And that's what I've done. Implement the strategy, get good at it, and then add size to win big. You don't have to take the same size as me. In fact, no one should be because no one knows uh, how to trade or what they're doing except for me. Once you learn it and do it, even if you have a big account, you should be following along and getting good and practicing and learning, and then you add the size. Because again, at the beginning, it's all new. It's all new. But again, it's really, really about the focus, and again, how do you make money in the market? Let's just think about it. It's common sense when you think about it. Got to get the direction right. <laughs> you know, I mean, again, if you're long Boeing today, you lost money. If you were short Boeing today, you made money. Simple. It was, it was, well, it sounds so simple. Then how can it be? Because so many traders don't get the direction right in their trades. They just don't. Again, they are looking at things they shouldn't be looking at. And they're doing things wrong. Okay? So it is about determining who is in control. If you determine who is in control, okay, then you're going to have a higher chance of making money. And again, it's like one of these things where... When I say power money, I mean big, big institutional money in the market, hedge funds, banks, large traders, they're controlling stocks or controlling the overall market. Again, what is going on with the market right now? The market's been rallying, okay? Yes, we sold off a little bit today, but for the most part, the market has been extremely strong this entire year of 2024. A few times we sold off, but it's been a very big bullish market. So bottom line is you have to get the direction right if you want to win. If you get the direction long, you're going to lose. And again, we're not scalping. I'm doing momentum trades. Same thing with my options. If I think the stock's going to fall, then I will buy a put. I think it's going to rally, then I buy a call. Okay, so how do I determine all of that? That is what I teach in my class. It's a rating system. It's a rating system that helps me determine the pick, okay? And again, how you choose to do it as a day trader, an option is totally up to you. Again, depends on the size of your account. Everyone can see this. This is a chart of Boeing, okay? So again, nice, beautiful, gorgeous sell-off. We're not quite back down here yet. This was through the 10th. Again, we're sold off today. But we're getting down there again. We're getting down there in Boeing. And again, Boeing had earnings last week. And again, it's just one of these things that has been on our radar for quite a while now. So like I was saying, if you shorted Boeing today, you made money. If you bought a put today, you made money. If you bought a call today, you lost. Okay. So getting back to what I was talking about, about, again, three steps. Number one, you need a winning strategy. And mine is Golden Gap. So again, what is a gap? A stock gap on the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next. Okay? Simple. So what is a gap? Let's talk about what a gap is. This is a daily chart. It's a daily chart of BA. Stock closed here, gap down. So what is a gap? It's the difference between the close and the open. So Boeing closed here at one price at 4 o'clock, gap down, open on another day at 9.30. 
Again, this was back end of July, beginning of August. Okay. So you could have shorted this. You could have bought a put. Actually, if you bought a put, you got the drop down in here very nicely. Very nicely. The next day, it gapped down again. Closed here, one price gap down the next day. What about this one over here? Closed here, gap down. Again, closed up here at 4 o'clock at 9.30, open at another price. You rate it, and I rated it, and we shorted it. We did this here. Now, again, you can't short every gap down. You can't short every gap up. You can't go long every gap down. You can't go long every gap up. Gap fills don't work. People talk about this all the time. And again, this is the way people want to trade gaps, and it's so silly because it just, just does not work, okay? So again, my strategy is golden gap. So what is a golden gap? A golden gap is a gap that rains 20 points or more per the golden gap 26-point rating system. This is what you'll learn in my class, okay? And again, this is how you're going to know whether to do BA or snow or the market or nothing. Okay, and again, I'm seeing some people come in late. Let's write this here. If you have questions, you will go down, choose two individual user and my name to type a question in the room. I can, I'm the only one that can see everybody's chats. Okay, so anyways, a golden gap is a gap that rates 20 points or more per the golden gap 26 point rating system. You can take the trade in the direction of the gap. You can do the trade as a day trade or an option. So again, you need a focus to be successful. Mine is gaps, specifically also shorting. And it doesn't mean I don't ever go long. I, I do. Sometimes like we actually went long Netflix. Okay, that was a good trade and it worked. But I found that shorting really gives me a specific niche because a lot of traders, particularly retail traders, don't know how to short. They're confused about shorting, don't understand shorting. They're, they do the wrong things to short. They, they just don't focus on shorting. They prefer to go long. Okay. So again, my focus is gaps, <coughs> but it's also shorting. So here's another nice one we did. What is a gap? IBM. Let's take a look at it. Stock close here, gap down. Closed up here, snug as a bug, 2.30 something, whatever. Gap down here in the morning, open, 2.21 and change, open, dropped, boom. So that is a gap. This is a daily chart. Okay, everybody with me? And again, questions, write it in the room. So what do I do? I rate it. I'm going to see that IBM gap. I'm going to rate it use my 26-point checklist. I'm going to determine if it rates 20 points or more. And if it does, I'm going to short it. I'm going to do a day trade. I'm going to buy a put. And that's it. And what if it doesn't rate 20 points or more? I'm not going to do it. Now, at a 17, 18, 19, it's 50, 50 chance of working or failing. But I, the rule is not to do it unless I'm directing in the room. If it rates like 17, 18, 19, I say to do it, you should do it. But really, the rule is not to do it, okay? So the rating system helps me determine who is in control. Again, you have to determine who is the one that is in control of the ship, okay? You can only have one control at any point in time. And this is another classic mistake that traders make. They say, well, it's a short-term miss. It's a long-term miss. It's a doing this no there's only one control got it so gaps happen in the market on a regular basis however some gaps are better than others some gaps are nothing gaps and you just can't play them at all and then some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money like the market today was a nothing gap we didn't play it we didn't go long it we didn't short it the most important gaps in the market are gaps that signify a change in direction or a larger move in the same direction okay so understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you to know what to do and when a change is occurring. Very important. And that is how you know when the power money will flow to pay you. Okay? So again, read the footprints of institutional money. What's happening? Where is it going? Are they buying? Are they selling? Are they dumping it? Are they shorting it? If you learn how to read the footprints of big position players before the momentum occurs, then... You can take the position the right direction and get out after the move happens for profit. So this is not predicting the gap itself. 
I didn't, I didn't know IBM was going to do what it did after the earnings or on the earnings, before the earnings, okay? But I saw it after, okay? Now, it could have rallied, <clears throat> could have flipped. It didn't. It was a short. That was a really nice play. But you have to understand how to trade with the side of power, and you need to know how to find it. Again, so critical. Knowing how to read what institutional money looks like is essential to becoming a successful trader, and you can be big trading on the side of power. Again, you only need one good pick a day. One good pick a day, that's it. Boom. That's all you need. You plop on the size, you get it, you're done. And again, doesn't matter if you do it as a day trader or an option. You need a margin account to day trade. Stock close your gap down. Again, BA. Could have bought the BA. 165 puts. 160 puts. Could have short as a day trade. Could have got in, got out. Stock came down in here, fell $10 almost. Big drop. So again, one trade a day. Doesn't matter how you do it. Again, who's in control? What am I looking for? Control, control, control. What happened here with IBM? Who's controlling this? Well, it looks like the bears. Same thing here with BA. The bears are in control here. Bears are in control here. They're still in control. Okay? So becoming a successful trader and investor requires becoming a specialist in defining. It's very, very specific. Obviously, I'm looking at 26 points. That's a lot of things. It's a lot. I'm looking specifically to define where the institutions are buying or selling a stock. It's all technical analysis. Got to have a chart. Got to have your chart set up. And learning advanced technical analysis is required. What does this mean? It means reading price action and charts. I think a lot of people start trading. They trade the market. They learn technical analysis a little bit here, a little bit there. They have some indicators. They start to trade. They think that this indicator, that indicator, whatever, Fibonacci's are going to tell them what to do. They don't. Then they lose money, and then they kind of just give up on technical analysis. No, you're, it's, it's so much more. It's looking at lots and lots and lots of things. It's never just one thing. It's never two things. And it's never one indicator or any indicators. Okay. Any questions here from anyone? How's everyone doing? So really, you don't have anything other than the technical analysis to look at in the price action, the live price action, because you're not going to know what the earnings say. You don't know. Comprehending how to redefine and trade with this power will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader. Elevate yourself, your trading, and your profits to a higher level of consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. Again, you're getting in and you're deciding what to do and you're saying, I see that this is doing this, therefore. Again, it's a conditional statement. If this, then that. And that's how you have to look at it. Because again, you know, you're trying to predict this. Let's go back here. Well, I'm in the trade here. Boom. Quit. I'm trying to predict it's going to go here. This didn't happen yet. You understand me? Like that's the genius in my system, in the rating system. Okay. So that's what you're trying to do if you come with me and you learn with me. When do you conduct your analysis, pre-market or right at the open? I have to do it in the pre-market. Have to. There wouldn't be enough time in the open. I get ready before I trade. That way I know what I'm doing or I know I'm not doing anything. And also I'm trading between 9.30 and 10. So I got to know because I want to get in the trade. That was a good question, Cynthia. So this was one we did. This was NVIDIA. It was a good one here. Uh, NVIDIA, we did the 125 calls. We just did this, okay? Cost $2.50. Contracts are 35 for me. Again, I risk way more. Let's look at the beginner here. If you risk took four, risked $1,000, you could have made $2,600. It was a good trade. I sent this out on October 3rd, but again, if you want to risk $87.50, you could have made over twenty-two grand. So I called the 125 calls on Thursday. Let's take a look at it. Actually, this is two weeks ago. I don't even know what day it is. This is funny. Oh, this is just the time is just going. Here it is. We did, boom, the 125s. NVIDIA closed here, gapped up, bought the calls, rallied, boom. Beautiful trade. 
You could have even held that longer, which is crazy to do, but a very nice trade. Again, the momentum in this is what? The stock's getting bought. The controls to the upside. Here was a short snow. What happened here? We did puts. The control was to the downside. Again, this was earnings. Right now it's earnings season. So this is good. 350. We paid for it. You could have done four contracts, spent 1400. 25 was 8750. 100 percent return on investment in and out. So we did this on Thursday. Let's take a look at the snow. Beautiful trade. We did the 120 puts. Stock close here, gap down, rallied, drop. Take it over, boom, came all the way down, broke 114. Beautiful trade. We did the 120 puts. Again, what's happening in here in the snow, it it fell. That's it, boom. Again, if you bought this, you were you lost. Simple. So you need to really, really focus on understanding why this is happening, okay? And again, you get conviction to make money when you understand why. So I, I, like I've taught people now since as long as I've had the business, which has been since 2012, you know, people are doing this, people are doing that. They take classes, they don't learn anything. They take bad classes and they take bad trades, they lose money. I get it. Not every class out there is good. Ma, I have a good class, okay? Actually, Vernon, you're here, you did the class. Vernon, where are you? I think Teresa's here too. There's a couple people here that did the class. If you understand why something, why something's gonna work, it really helps you do the trade, okay? So just because you've taken classes in the past, spent money and not learned what to do, doesn't mean that you're never gonna learn what to do or you should never take a class again. You understand really important to understand why specifically because you could take a trade the trade could be down and it could be a great trade and it could be down before it goes that could be in a day trade or an option and if you understand why you won't kill the trade and unnecessarily lose money in a really good trade before it goes or or you will take a trade and you will hold it which is exactly what I did with IBM, because you know it's so good, okay? So all of this is understanding. And as human beings, we do like to know why. That's just our nature. We are curious. We want to know why. So just blindly following somebody is not the answer. And you're never going to be able to do it yourself anyways. You know what I'm saying? So I use a 26-point checklist, and you will come and learn it from me in the class if you want to do it. You go through the points, you rate it, you go through the process, and I do it myself. Every single morning, I get up in the morning, I never skip it. And I'm a morning person, I'm up early. You could do it at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. is late, but you could you could go through it between 9 and 9.30, but again, we start trading early, and we're done early. Okay, so think about it. You're like, oh my God, this totally makes sense. I get it. If I get the direction right, then I can, I can do it. And it totally makes sense. You only need one trade a day to do it. And it totally makes sense that if you have one trade and you're holding it down and you add the size, you could do better. If you're taking more trades, you're at risk for more losses. So take less trades and think about the trades you're doing. And it totally makes sense that if you understand how to trade and the whys, you will make more money. You will do better, okay? Any questions about that? <laughs> How many hours do you have to put aside if you want to train? The room opens at 9, cutoff is 9.20. Got to be there no later than 9.20, and we trade between 9.30 and 10. Some days 10.15. So you got to have that hour. As far as your prep work, I would start prepping and give yourself an hour to prep between 8.30 and 9.30. So I'd say an hour and a half a day, 8.30 to 10. That's what you should do, Okay. So it's not a lot of time, and we're not trading all day. Again, why gaps? Gaps are the most powerful show of price action in a chart. Gaps have large move. Gaps can move up or down. Some of the biggest move momentum moves on a daily chart come from a gap. Well, you saw that with Netflix. I mean, crazy move up. 
And when I trade, I'm looking for in trading momentum. Then whether you have a small size or a large size, you'll get a good risk to reward. Again, some people can't do more than one contract. Some people don't have a margin account. Some people have to go prompt. Some people have what they have. They have $2,000 in an option account, and that's it. They're risking 100 bucks, $200. That's it. You have to think of the risk to reward no matter your size. You have to think of learning it and doing well no matter your size. So it's add the size later once you get it. Don't be so consumed where, oh my God, I need a big account or I can't even do it without a big account. No, that's not true. You will lose if you don't know what to do with a small account or a big account. There are people that have huge accounts and they lose money because they don't know what the hell they're doing and they're traders. And they lose a ridiculous amounts of money. I hear horror stories all the time. Why? What's the point? What are you doing trading if you don't know what to do? And if you have money, go you know, pay for a class like mine and learn it for Pete's sakes. It's, it's nothing to, size isn't going to make you or break you. Okay, you got to learn it. Beats putting in seven to 12 hours physically. I don't, what do you do for a living, Mark? If you can ask, ask my question. It definitely does. I mean, again, there are people that work very hard doing their jobs, physical jobs. And their bodies are tired at the end of the day. Like, you know, like if you're a, if you're a, a NYPD, if you're a police officer and you're on the you're on patrol, you're on you're on your feet all day in the city. I mean, God knows what you're doing, where you're going, on your feet. I mean, walking around, doing it's a tough job, physically exhausting. You come home, you you know, you're tired at the end of the day. And so again, lots of people do jobs that are physical. Refinishing hardwood floors, that's a physical job. That's right. I'm sure your knees hurt your legs at the end of the night. Do you also teach a method for this system in setting targets? I teach targets in the class, Cynthia. So day one of the class, it's two days, it's Saturday and Sunday. Okay, Saturday and Sunday is the class. Day one is the strategy itself. Okay, day two is the entries and exits and targets. That's day two, okay? So when I trade, I'm looking for in trading momentum and then whether, like I said, you have a small size or a large size, you're going to do it. So I know I know people love fundamentals. And also now everyone's looking at, you know, the election and there's now, there's betting odds in the election. It's really getting crazy. So <laughs> it's just like, it's, they're looking at polls and people are betting on the election. Just look at the price action that's happening in a chart. You, you can't predict what the Fed's going to do. Nobody knows. And and for now, look at what's happened. No one thought we wouldn't be at this point. By the end of the year, they thought they would lower rates five times this year. We got one rate cut this year. It was half a point before the election. That's it. We may not have any others. We may have no more rate cuts the rest of the year. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Okay. So like I was saying, institutional money is in charge. It's in charge of the market and stocks at all times. And even if you think it's not, guess what? It is. A big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market. Stocks creates momentum and sets the trend in charts. So when you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of power in a stock. You want to be in the side of the power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. And even if you think it isn't, it is. It is. Okay. Now, let's do step two. Step two, you need a supportive mentor. Do and follow. Again, you will follow me in the room. I'm calling the trades. I'm calling the entry. Cynthia asked about the exits, targets. I'm giving you the targets in the room. I'm giving you the targets in the newsletter. I'm telling you the exits in the room. Follow me till you learn it and you figure out what to do. Follow me in the room. I don't think I'm hard to follow because I'm only doing one thing today. Today, we, I shorted BA. I called it. That's it. How hard is it to follow me? Now I'm gonna go over two weeks here in the room. These are trades on margin. You would have had to have a margin account to do these trades. We made 54,270 in the room. This was from 9.30 to 10.10. Let's just go over here very quickly just to show you the stats. This is an average two week snapshot. I mean, I had the stats for the whole year earlier, but just to show you, 80% win ratio. Again, average risk is $3,000 between 3,500 per trade. I might up my risk for 2025, we'll see. I mean, now is not the time to increase your risk. It would be early 2025. Uh, the 30th, we did Boeing. You see how this has been on our radar? Look at this has been on our radar. Then we did it, took a stop, did Apple. 
Then we did Tesla, took a stop, did it again. We did Nvidia, we did Amazon the 4th. I was off in the 7th, we did Nvidia the 8th, and we did Boeing the 9th and the 10th. Look at this. Let's look at the charts here. So here was Boeing, we shorted it, 9.30. Look, snug as a bug. Doesn't even look that much, like that much, but it was a very nice trade. Stock close here, gap down, open dropped. Again, this is the day, this is the gap, made 73.50. My risk was 3,500. Again, you have to have a margin account for this. Some of you don't know about prop accounts, and if you don't, you should email me or research it. You can open up a prop account with $5,000, start to do day trades, or you could buy a put. Then on 10-1, we did it here, didn't work. Took a stop, again, that was Boeing too. Then we did Apple, this was a nice trade here. Again, this was October 1st, stock closed here, gap down, open, fell. Boom. This was a short on Apple, October 1st. Everybody see it? Again, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Now, if I do two things, it's because guess what? I took a stop. Everybody see Tesla? So we're on 10-2, 10-2. Stack close here, gap down, open, dropped. I was actually up in this trade and I screwed it up. Actually, I screwed up this, screwed up this exit here. And then I redid it and then I got it. So again, I took a stop in this. I should have got out of it. I went back into it here, got the drop, added, and then ended up having a huge trade. So in this particular day, I actually had it down a little bit more. Nice short there. Then on 10-3, we did here. We did NVIDIA. Close here, gapped up. This was a long. See it? Snug as a bug. Went long, 121.40, got out. Again, dollar or more, out. Quick trade, in and out, done, boom. That was a long. Then we did Amazon, this was 10.4. Actually, this was a long too. Uh, Amazon gapped up here and we went long this. That was a good trade on the fourth. Actually, Amazon has earnings this week. That's, that's gonna be on my radar this week. I have to look at the date. Then I was off on the seventh. Didn't train. Then we did NVIDIA on the 8th again. And again, been on top of this thing. This was a long, close to your gapped up. Boom, did it. In and out, quick trade, dollar or more, done. Beautiful trade. Then on the 9th, we did Boeing. We've just been, I've just been all over this. I don't think I've missed one short in the stock. Stock close to your gap down, fell, boom. Good trade, great trade, beautiful trade almost two dollars look at the move you add this size get it what if you had a thousand shares of this if you had a thousand shares of this you would have made almost two grand it this was a good trade again you could have bought the put could have bought the put and then we did it again on the 10th and i just told you we did it today we did it today nice trade so again every day i get up i rate the gap before i open the room or however many gaps we're doing send out the options run the room do the day trades we're in and out, we're done. It's chunk it, you chunk it out, chunk it, you chunk it out. And again, if you're following me in the room, I make it as easy as possible for you to follow. If you wanna sign up for the options newsletter, that comes straight to your emails. Any questions about the room, any questions about options, any questions about anything here so far? How are we doing? Uh, what places allow options trading for us to train from? What do you mean what places? If you can go anywhere that has a retail account, a retail, any brokerage, and open up an options account with a minimum of $2,000. If you're talking about prop, no prop place has options. Prop is if you want to trade on margin. If you want to do options, you can go to anywhere and you fill out paperwork and you open up an options account and the minimum is $2,000. You can set it up as a cash account and you can start trading the day it's open. So there's like, that's like any 
broker in the U.S. Uh, so you're so you are entering the trade in the first hour and do nothing else during the day. I am entering the trade on the day trains. I'm entering and I'm getting out quick. That's it. On the options, let me see who's asking that, Ray. I'm taking the trade where I am buying the put, for example, in IBM, and I'm trying to get a larger move out of that. So I'm not out of the option, really, in the first hour. I put the trade on, and then I let it ride. Now, I might get out of it the same day, or I let it ride overnight. You can put a sell order. It's a limit order. If you can't watch it, I will check my options at, like, lunchtime or something or before the end of the day if I want to get out. But I, I try to get a bigger move in an option. So no, I'm not sitting at my desk all day. And yes, I'm pretty much done for the day. And that's how I can have a life. I appear on TV. That's how I can do that. Sometimes I'm on Skype. Sometimes I go to studio. I go for walks in Central Park. I'm doing webinars like right now. I'm running my business, the Stock Swoosh. I teach classes. And I'm enjoying my life in New York. So, I mean, you could do whatever you want. I'm not doing nothing else. I'm not laying on the sofa watching TV, if that's what you mean. I am I keep myself active doing things, but it's things that I choose to do. The room is open for 30 to 45 minutes. Most days, some it might be open for 15 minutes. I We could do a trade and be done in two minutes. And then I, and I talk a little bit, close it, boom, done. We could be done by 9.45. So I don't always keep it open. That's just the general time frame. Your results are amazing. I love the running trades you publish. Has this year been a typical year? And past years have been successful as this one. Uh, I would say I'm pretty consistent uh, as far as, you know, win ratios or whatever. If you're talking about that, number of wins versus losses, yes. Uh, my risk obviously has increased over the years. So, you know, I ri I'm risking more now than I did a couple of years ago, if that's what you mean. But as far as win ratio, it's pretty consistent. I mean, I actually think we're we're really having an, a really good year in the trading room. Like we are pretty much like like I could I don't even know if we have five losing days in the room, like even the whole year. Like I, I that's something I should go back and look at because I could use it for marketing. Like again, Vernon's been in the room since he joined. I, I just we are just not losing in the trading room. Like we are just not losing. And if I take a trade and I lose, like I'm, I'm so good at finding something else really quick or doing a retake. Like I, like this year in the trading room, the live room, the trades that we're doing, the day trades, like I, I don't know if I've had a better year as far as winning than I have this year. So pro I would say the room this year has just been, like everyone that's in the room should be making money. And if they're not, then they need to talk to me because I don't know what they're doing. Everything I teach is proprietary material, Mark. I created it. I own it. I teach it. If you want to learn it, you can learn it in the class. Everything is proprietary material. Any other questions? I was just going to say something else. We're talking. I, sh I really should do that. I should go back and my assistant, I have to talk to him. He can go back and look at that for me. Okay. So let's talk about working smarter, not harder. Why? Because, I mean, again, if you want to lay on the sofa and watch TV all afternoon, go for it. But, you know, I like to keep busy. I'm an active person. I love New York and I like the park. And in general, again, I just the idea of my brain being like honed in like for like 100% of the day, you know, your brain gets tired. But I always say I could be perfect for half an hour a day. I could be perfect for one hour a day. Again, trading takes focus and concentration. It takes 100% focus and concentration. And if you're distracted or you're doing this or you're doing that, again, that's why I don't trade all day. You're not going to make good decisions if you're sitting there staring at a screen for six and a half hours. If you're focused and, you, and again, it's like trying to hit a bullseye every day. If you're honed into that one, one point in time and get in, get out quick, you're going to do the best possible thing you can do. So I don't hold back but teach all the material? Of course. Why would I? What do you mean hold back? I don't know what you mean hold back. That's, that's silly. 
I have other classes. Um, I have a couple half-day classes, but the Golden Gap course is the main class where you learn the rating system, the entries, and the exits. I don't hold anything back. I don't, I don't even know what you mean by that. That's like silly. That's like saying I wouldn't teach you something. Why wouldn't I do that? I mean, that, that I want you to do well. I want you to do well. I mean, the only thing that I couldn't give you and impart to you is my sixth sense or intuition that I have why? Because I've been doing this. I created the system. I've been doing nothing else but this for 16 years. So if you want to get a sixth sense and you want to get an intuition, then start trading and do it for as long as me. That's not something that I can teach you. If I could bottle it up in a perfume or a vitamin and sell it to you like that, I could. But that is just, that is the, the 27th point is me. I'll tell you that. It's being in the room with me and I'm looking at it. And in seconds, I'm saying no. And then we're doing this. And that's just my skill set. That's my ability. That is the benefit of being in the room with me. When things are happening in live time and very fast, and I do talk fast, although I've been trying to do better with that you know, over the years, but I, I think very fast. Sometimes I think so fast I can't spit it out to talk fast enough. But the reality is it's a benefit of being in the room with me, and that is the sixth sense where I'm trying to look at two things right away and I'm seeing it's not going to go. And I said, that's it. We're doing this one. And then we do it. Like, and again, that we did that today. We did that today, actually. Let me just look here. I'll just pull this up here. Can you see um, the screen? We didn't do this. That was, I don't, no, it didn't work. Look, we didn't do it. I said, no. Uh, and we didn't do it. CVX, oil. Oil was gapping down. People had it in the room. I said, no and we did BA, I got right off of it. So that's the benefit, and that's not something I can teach you. There's no way to put that in the class, it's my intuition. Some courses only teach you how to follow and not how to do it on your own. No, you're gonna learn how to do it. Because I'm not gonna be doing this forever, for the rest of my life. <laughs> Eventually I will do something else, get married, have kids, or, you know, who knows? Um, is the determination of 26 point computerized? No. Uh, what do you find is the best trading platform for using your system? I assume it needs to be real time to be more efficient. You can trade anywhere. Um, again, if you want a referral, you can ask me, but I don't have any affiliation with any specific broker, so you can go wherever you want. So I say if you have an account set up and you're comfortable at ABC Trader or wherever you are, then stay with them. You gotta be able to do options and have an options account. You gotta be able to do day trades and have a margin account if you're gonna do the shorts. So again, you have to have charts. You gotta have an account if you wanna say, well, what do you think about this one, that one? I mean, there's so many of them are pretty much like all the same. There's pros and cons to every place. So I say, if you know how to press the buttons at XYZ place and go with that, you're comfortable. If you already have an account someplace, just stay with them. Anyways, this is a good example. We didn't do this today, it didn't work. We didn't do it. Okay, so again, why is shorting the way to go? Because it works quickly, which is one of the reasons we're done so fast. Now, again, Boeing fell today. We got in and out quick, but if we had stayed in the trade, as far as the day trade, it flipped and then it went late. So if we had held it, we would have been stopped. We would have had to retake it. Again, it's easier to hold a trade if you're in an option. That is why I like to do options, to get the bigger move, okay? So we did one, we did two, let's do three. Become an expert in one thing and focus on one thing. It's like if you said, well, I wanna be a politician, but I also wanna be a tennis player. And I also wanna be a doctor and an accountant and an attorney. They'd be like, whoa, wait a minute, you don't have time, there's only 24 hours in a day. Focus on one thing. You wanna be president of the United States? Okay, you're gonna run. You wanna be a day trader? Okay, what are you gonna focus on? A lot of people couldn't answer that question, the trade, and they trade every day and they risk their money and they're trading for 30 years. You have to get a focus. One thing, okay, one strategy, one stock even, and then be consistent with it. And that's where you're gonna get consistent results. And then like I said, you just add the size. So again, one of the cornerstones to everlasting trading success is consistency. Without this, it is hard to stay in the market for any length of time. It's just very difficult. In order to be consistent, a person needs proper focus on what counts. And for me, I focus on stocks that are being moved or controlled by institutional money. And how do I determine that? I rate the gap, which is what we've been talking about. 
So how are you gonna know what stock to trade each day? You're gonna learn how to do it yourself. Again, Mark was asking, you don't have to be in the room. You're gonna learn it to do it without me. You don't even have to be in the room at all. I think the room makes it easier for you, but you will learn in the class how to do it without me at all. How to rate it, how to pick it, how to enter it, how to exit it, okay? It's about finding the power of money. And again, this isn't rocket science. For many, many people, it's about learning and knowing what to look for and they just don't. Um, and, and I was talking about earnings season, so I just wanted to put this in here. In earnings season, you get big moves. Tesla's a good example. The stock had a very large move in earnings. Again, Amazon is earnings this week. Google is earnings this week. There's a million earnings next week too. They're gonna have, the, the stocks are gonna have big moves. Whether they're gonna be up or they're gonna be down, I don't know. Am I gonna play them before they have the move? No. Am I gonna rank these gaps when I see them? Yes. Do I know if they're gonna be up or down? No. Will I play every one? No, probably not, because sometimes something will gap and not be a good gap, meaning it's a nothing burger. It could gap up and not be predictable. So it's the predictability that you need, and how do you get that? You get that in the rating system. Now, while it's rare that we would have earnings that are big names that we wouldn't train, there are times when things actually gap on earnings and then are what I call a nothing burger, they just really don't go anywhere at all. They don't go up, they don't go down. There's no way to predict it. Again, this is why it's so important to have something to follow. And that's the checklist. And that's what makes it critical to, to understand it. So becoming a professional trader, if that's something you wanna do, it doesn't mean you have to spend 40 hours a week. It's one hour a day, an hour and a half a day. You find gaps and rate them using a checklist. The room is designed to help make it easier for you. Gaps have to be qualified. The checklist tells you what to look for in the price of the stock. So there's only one thing, one thing only that can move the direction of stock, and it's money, and not a little bit of money, but a lot of money, or what I call power money. Power money is in charge, always, always, always. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction, and trends are set and moved by the power money people. Guess what, of what there's, which there's a lot of in the market. The amazing thing is that as negative as traders and analysts talk about the power money people, they're the reason that one individual can be successful. You would never have the opportunity to make the kind of money that we made last week in IBM and even today if you didn't have institutional money moving the stock. If it was a couple of traders or retail trades, it would never have happened. It would never have done this. This was up over 230. And today, it, it uh, and let's look at where it closed, actually. It's, un, it's under 213. For the 26 points are the entirely objectives or subjective element as well. The points are objective, meaning you follow the structure. It's a structure. It's a teachable structure and it's a learnable structure, if that makes sense, okay? Otherwise, how, how would anyone be able to follow and do it themselves? You know what I mean? Like it, it has to be that way, otherwise people won't get it. And again, I've had the business since 2012. So I've had the business for going on 13 years. The only, only way that I would have a business as long as if it was teachable. I mean, I have people that come, they trade with me, then they stop trading for whatever reason, then they come back. I've had the business long enough now that I actually have people come back around to me. I guess that's a testament to the quality of my system in the class and then people have to sign up for the class again you know or they can just rejoin the room it's like you know sometimes things sometimes the timing isn't right for people they start to train and something happens they get divorced or they lose their job or you know who knows they get sick do i supply reading material no no reading material at all you got to take notes and you got to be there a lot are there videos you can access anytime or replay? No. You gotta be there live. You are there and you're taking notes. And actually that will help you remember the information and digest it. But if you're in the room every day, again, I'm there every day. And also you can email me and call me if you have questions. I forget this, I didn't understand this, Melissa. What did you mean? Why, why did this work? Why didn't this work? So I allow people to contact me after the class, even after people pay. Ask Vernon. Is Vernon still here? Vernon's been emailing me. Yep, Vernon's here. It's not like I'm gonna go away after the class. If you wanna reach out, you can reach out. So that's something that a lot of people don't offer because I wanna help people, I want people to make it. 
So the most valuable information for people to trade can be found in reading price action and gaps. It's about focusing on the right information. Understanding chart rating of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market will assist you in being profitable. Reading power of money when it sets up will help give you conviction to trade. Seeing when and where the power of money positions are getting in is like finding a gold mine. Seeing gaps clearly and how they are creating trends, changing trends, and making momentum is a powerful way to trade. You can use this information to enter trades yourself so you can get paid along with the power of money moves. Okay. Vernon is here and he has a question after the class. <laughs> Vernon. Vernon's new. Vernon has another question. That's fine. You can email me, Vernon. Vernon, did you do the BA put? If you did, you're up. Okay, let's talk about leveling up. This applies to everything in our life, not just trading. Too many people trade on the fly and they're just not interested in learning how to get good. Again, it's, it's just think about it. Anything you want to do, like how are you going to, how are you ever going to get anywhere if you're not, if you're not focused on getting good? I mean, do you understand how many people want to make money in the market? Like everybody, everybody on the planet would like to make money in the stock market. So it's like, if you, if you, if you're like, all right, well, there's all these people that want to make money and they're not all going to make money. <laughs> So, I mean, why? Because a lot of them won't take the time to learn it and really don't care. So, again, you have to care. You have to care about getting good. You have to care about the learning part of it. It is an integral piece of it. And, yeah, you got to use your brain. You got to be there live. You got to get up in the morning. You got to be on time for the room. You got to take the trains. You got to follow. You got to ask questions. Got to take notes. Getting good is the only way you'll ever make money. You only get conviction if you get good. Otherwise, you have no conviction. And I will tell you this, again, as long as I've been teaching people, more people just want to trade and they want to make money, but there's less people that actually want to get good and learn it. So know that if you put yourself into this qualifying position where you actually really, really are motivated to get good and learn it, you have a higher chance of making it. You're at the top. A lot of people are not even there in their mind. Not even if you're not even there yet actually doing it and successful. A lot of people in their mind don't even have the focus on getting good. Like seriously. So if, you, if that is your goal to really get good at this, you're already halfway there. Because so many people really could give a crap. Like they wanna pay for a class and then like they don't even care. It's like, okay, are you listening to anything? You have to think, use your brain. M make sense? Okay. So again, the system tells you how, when, and when. How do you make money in the market? Trade a strategy and system is profitable. Golden gaps are highly profitable strategy because they focus on large momentum to train. What stocks should you train? Stocks that gap and rate 20 points or more per the Golden Gap 26 point rating system. Trade the gap in the direction of the gap. And when do you trade them? Early in the morning in the open when they set up and trigger. That's when we're doing it. And you must have a structure in place to make money at all. Whether it's options or day trades, it's about the consistency that many traders lack in their system. And again, 20 is key. You don't need a 26 point. You don't have to get the whole shebang. 20 is good enough. That's still a lot of things. How do I know ahead of time when a stock will go? I rate it. I don't know ahead of time where it's going to gap. I see the gap. I actually see the gap. And then I rate it. So I use a 26-point checklist. And this checklist tells me what to trade each day and what to look for. And it's very important. And this is what you'll learn in the class. And it's designed to tell you that, wait a minute, if it gets the rating, this stock and this gap has a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, which is good, especially if you're going to do an option too. Big move on the day, obviously, IBM had that. Early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, which is, I told you, when we're trading, and then precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-reward target potential, which obviously is what we want. So put a plan of action in place if you want to do this. Like, again, when people come to me, I say, don't trade any other system right now. Focus on this. Be in the room every day. Trade only golden gaps that rate according to the 26-point system. You'll learn it. You'll have the highest rate of success and you learn the directional bias. You're going to understand it. Number two, get the best entry you can with precision early in the morning to get good risk to reward trades. Looking for one to three, you will take the train, size yourself, choose your risk, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, whatever it is, you decide, ask me if you want my thoughts and then create a money management plan for yourself to achieve your goal of becoming a professional trader and achieving your goal of working for yourself. And you know, everyone wants to work for themselves. That's great. 
but you got to learn it. You got to do it. You know, before back in COVID, everybody was working from home. Well, now guess what? 2025, people are expecting people to go back to the office. People aren't happy about that. I mean, here in New York, there, a lot of places are like saying, you got to be back by January full time in the office and people are upset. So again, learn how to train or you could do it half and half. 50% in the office, 50% at home. But earning season is now. Critical time, great time to trade, lots of opportunity. This is me, I did a live class in September. I don't have any other live classes planned, but it was a great class for people to really learn and understand what I'm doing and to be there live with people. And it was on a huge screen, a 68 inch screen. And it was just, it was an amazing experience. It was a lot of work for me and I was on my feet and talking for three days straight. I don't know if I'll do another class if I do um, you know, you would have well, well advanced notice, but for now the classes are online and I do a class once a month online. The class for November is November 16th and 17th. And I think it is important for people to understand that this is real and you can really do it. Again, I started trading in 2008. I can't even believe it, but it is 2025 next year. Like that is really almost crazy that in, in three years, it'll be 20 years I've been trading. Like I've, I'm almost like flabbergasted. Like here we are. It's almost January. I mean, time is flying. And I know that there's people following me. And you can follow me as long as you want and not sign up. But what if I stop doing this? What if I re do retire? Then you're going to miss your opportunity to learn it because you will learn how to do it on your own. And the system works. And you don't want to miss this opportunity to learn. But I really think you shouldn't miss this opportunity to trade with me because it's earnings season. Now you can make money right away. Vernon said he did the put. So Vernon's up. You're up in the BA already. Anyways, it's about being practical, professional, thinking about it, using your brain. You have a good brain. Keep it healthy. Go to sleep at night. Get up early. Take care of yourself. Eat right. Exercise. You don't even need me to tell you all these things. I'm just reminding you all the stuff that you know. The system I use to trade is the Golden Gap 26-point checklist. And go through it, and you're going to learn it if you do the class. And you will empower yourself to trade today because you don't want to have to rely on anyone to do this. I'm... I'm a vehicle for you to learn it, a vessel, a support system, a mentor. I'm not pressing the button for you. You're responsible for your own trades. You're responsible for it yourself. And that's where the power comes from, from doing it yourself. You, know, you understand? That's why you need the conviction. That's why it helps if you do get it. So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to train. And again, I teach the class once a month. It's a full course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. So the class of the class, oh, I sorry, I have the wrong dates in here. This It's November 16th and 17th. I'm just saying that. Class of the class is $69.99, but it's November 16th and 17th for November. That class is done. But I am doing a big package, huge. It's a New York City Marathon package. That's Central Park. I took that picture. Isn't it gorgeous? It's the Golden Gap Course Bundle. It includes three classes. So you will get the... Golden Gap class for November, the Trends class for November, and then the Gap Options course in December, which is December 12th. All classes online. This is huge because you save. If you sign up for everything, it's $89.99. And the bundle includes, for free, three subscriptions. You get three classes and three subscriptions for one price. Then you'll get the market report through the end of next year, trading room through the end of next year, a newsletter through the end of next year. This is huge. This ends on Sunday, November 3rd, which is Marathon Sunday. And again, I, I, I want to tell a story here really quick. This is Shirley. Shirley runs and organizes the whole setup for the New York City Marathon. She's been doing it for years. In fact, tomorrow I'll have to ask her how many years. Last year is my first year that I was here for the marathon. Never experienced a marathon. I lived in New York for so long, but I wasn't on the park. And the first year I lived here was after the marathon. So it was like literally one of the best days I ever had in New York City. It was so fun. And I can't wait. It's Sunday. I met Shirley last year. <laughs> in fact, I introduced her to my dad. I saw her again this year. And we started talking. I just took this picture of her. Shirley is actually retired. She worked for the New York City Sanita uh, Parks Department. And she did the marathon like for a long time, for years. She did the setup. Two weeks they set up. She's there every morning from 6 a.m. to 7 o'clock at night. And then they literally take it down in three days. So it's like two weeks to set it up and then three days, boom, it's gone. She 
is retired, comes back just to do the marathon every year, and you know, comes up out of retirement to do this. The city asked her to do it. She loves doing it. She just loves it. And she ordered everything. It's like a, this huge thing. Again, you go to YouTube, you can watch my videos, and you can go to my Instagram and posting stuff, or even on Sunday. Anyways, she does not have to do this. She obviously retired. She loves it, and she's doing it. It's like there's something about loving what you do that means so much. And I think so many people, they don't love what they do. And so many people are trading and they don't love trading. Like they're doing it, but they don't really love it. It's like, okay, well then why are you doing it? Like no one's forcing you to trade. Like this woman loves what she's doing. And it shows because it's always a spectacular event. And the city loves her for doing it, obviously, because I asked her to come back and do it even after she retired. So, you know, loving what you do is so important to being successful. It means everything and it means a lot. And learning is something that you have to love. Because if you want to do this and make money, you got to learn. You got to love learning it too. That's part of it. It's becoming motivated. The learning should motivate you. The money should motivate you. And the time that's such a short time that you're doing it every day should motivate you. If the, you can leave a job where you're working 40, 50, 60 hours a week to train an hour a day, that should motivate you to love it. Love the process of it. You know what I'm saying? Any questions? Anyways, fall is a great time to train. You can work from home. You got to think about your future and don't miss earning season. Any questions from anyone here, I'm going to put my email in the room if you're interested in the marathon package. You could start trading now. You can sign up today and start trading tomorrow. You can get the trades tomorrow. You can be in before the class. Again, the marathon special on Sunday, you got to sign up by Sunday, and you would be trading with us then during these two critical weeks. Election week next week, earning season this week, earning season next week, and then obviously do the classes in November. Any questions? How are we doing? Dan is doing great. Dan, I, I hope you join. Dan, this is a good special for you because you get all three classes. You're shooting for it. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I just got... Uh, your message, Vernon. Where are you? Are you here? Vernon. In regular options, puts or calls, you look at the delta because it determines how much you get for every dollar the stock moves. I don't because I'm trading momentum. I'll just bring this up quickly here. Let's have the IBM. Again, I'm looking to have a big move in it. That big move could happen the day that I do the trade burn-in, or it could take a few days. Ideally, it should go within 24 to 48 hours, Vernon, which obviously this did. This went the first day. It went within two days. If you're saying to me, you do a trade, and it doesn't go day one, it doesn't go day two, You've got time left, but you're worried. It's moving against whatever direction you did it. Like say, I'm pretending like we did puts there, pretend it was a call on you, it's rallying, and you're worried about it. I'm just telling you, Vernon, I don't, I don't go by anything other than the gap rating because I've had trades that I've been in that I've taken on a Thursday or a Friday for the following week, or even on a Monday, that expire on the Friday, and they were down every single day until the day of the expiration. On the day of the expiration, they turned around and made money. So... You know, I'm playing the gap. So to answer your question, no. So you have to set your risk and do the trade. And that's what you got to do. But for someone like you, I think you should be booking profits. Now, did you get out of this, Vernon, or you held it? Or no, you did the BA. What did you do with this? Did you get out of this today, or did you hold it?
Okay, you got out. That's fine. Boom. Done. What did you make? Get this up here. That's fine. You're doing the options as day trades, and I think that that is good then that you got out because you're new. You made $640. Perfect. Done. And you get up tomorrow, and we'll see what we're going to do tomorrow. Very good. Any other questions from anyone? Listen, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. And if you're interested, oh, Mark has a question. Thank you for time. The course is going to be your next career. Good. Perfect. Cynthia, I recognize your name. I don't know how long you're following me. Do I set a target to exit the options? I don't know. What do you mean by set? I have targets. They're targets for the chart. But I also look at how much I'm up, Philip. So, I mean, I'm not going to ignore what I'm up. So I have chart targets and I also have monetary targets. If you're telling me, do I send out an alert to get out of a trade? No, the targets are on the original email and you will get that when you get the trade. So at the time that you actually get the actual trade, the targets are on the letter. I don't have that in the marketing emails, but the targets are on the letter. But not everybody holds the targets. Some people get out. Again, some people are doing the options as day trades. They don't want to hold overnight. They don't even care if it's lower. They don't even want to go to bed at night and think about it or worry about it or deal with it. They just want to get out. Some people are doing that. I don't do that. But I'm telling you, some people are doing that because they don't want to have any overnight exposure. And that's your decision. That's your choice, you know. That's a good question. Any other questions? Great. All right, I will see everybody soon. You're welcome.